digital romance TV. Hello, Internet. It's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance TV, along with the talented and lovely Nora, answering your questions about love and sex and relationships in the digital age. Today's big question is... Why a man stops loving a woman. Wow. That's a good one. Why do women stop loving men? I mean, do you want me to go off on a long rant about why love is actually a construct and is not a primary emotion and is actually more of a, there's various types of love ranging from companionate love to passionate love to the kind of love that you have for a child and it's actually not a thing that's meant to last more than several years in the first place? Sure. I think we just did that. Because uh, that's a long one. I know, actually. but that was really good encapsulation of it. Uh, yeah, um, but love is a different, I mean, the, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, but we use the word love for way too many things. We do. It's like there snow. Should be, yeah. Right, like the Eskimos yeah. with snow, mm -hmm. but we should have different Words like what, what you feel for your kids and what you feel for your friends and what you feel for your family right. members and what you feel for the person that you are is your your soulmate should be different th called different things right. because it's a very different thing and and it's more that like like passionate love which is or limerence as Dr. Mm -hmm. Helen Fisher calls it um, you can look up Dr. Helen Fisher's TED talks they're wonderful right. um, is kind of that initial thing that you get when you meet somebody and they smell great and you can't and you think about them all the time Ache and, in your loins. and you just want to be naked constantly Absolutely. and there's nothing wrong with Their them smell, like it's the really weird just... you're like there's things wrong with everybody else in the world but not with them and you just want to crawl inside them and stay there in like a papoose or something like that like that's ton -ton -ton. that's limerence and that's like basically a form of psychopathy in a way where you're just you're but, obsessed but, but what you're saying yeah. is that wears off it has it has to wear off right because you but can't live your life. You can't live your life that way. Right. They have done studies that show a very small percentage of couples manage to maintain something of that type for the whole length of their relationship. They have no idea why, right? It isn't because these people are doing anything differently. It's probably a chemical in their brains specifically that allows that to continue. Just like some people are more way. naturally sure. happy than others because they sure. have more dopamine or anything right. like that. Now, why does a man stop loving a woman? Now, but, but let's just assume that everybody knows that that super compassionate love is going to end. After a certain number of years with somebody, it evolves into something that's been called companionate love. Yep. And companionate love is the kind of love where you're like, I just love you because you're such a big part of my life and I respect you. And maybe there's not as much kind of... And there, but there's still a list of things that they do that causes a... A, a warm a, feeling. A reaction within you. Yes. Whether it's sexual or not, it's still a reaction of, of fondness and care. As opposed to as opposed to responsible love is almost what I want to call it, which is when you love somebody but you kind of hate them at the same time, where you're kind of like, I love you, but you are a burden on me in some way, which is mm -hmm. what I think people often feel for their uh, parents mm -hmm. as they get older, uh, maybe for siblings and even for children on occasion, depending yep. on what kind of goes on. At it's that point. the it's the love that keeps you from throwing them out the window exactly. when, when they are toddlers and they're. I can't do that because I because, because I, you yeah. have a connection that makes you go. <sighs> but the number one reason. And I, this is going to be harsh. A couple of things. I've, I was reading. I wrote a program called the Secret Survey ages ago, and I surveyed twenty thousand men, and I asked them, um, "What's the one thing you wish the woman in your life desperately knew but are afraid to tell her?" Mm -hmm. Right. And we got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah. of responses, and phrased in various ways, the number one response was, "It kills me when I say I love her and she doesn't believe me." Mm -hmm. over and over again. It wasn't exactly that same way over and over again. We got a bunch of those, right? Mm -hmm. We also got stupid stuff like guys saying, I really want a threesome. <laughs> right, right, right. But like the more honest guys were getting deeper into there. And I think that the men, men, a man will fall out of love with a woman out of, because he doesn't feel respected or valued as a man in the relationship. Or because he's tired of having to prove his love. Yeah, those two things. So the, what I mean by la lack of respect and uh, lack of respect as a man is that oftentimes women will, uh, when there's marriage and kids and everything else, they'll expect him to be like, okay, well, I want you to do all this domestic stuff too. And yes, I agree, men should pull their weight domestically. I'm not against that at all. It's okay. 2015 as we're recording this. But men need to feel appreciated for the manly stuff they do as well. Sure. They need to be, have a woman look at a guy and say, you're a guy. Sure. Uh, there's a great quote from um, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Not a great book, but this is a great quote which is uh, women treat men like incompetent women. It's one of my favorite quotes. It's a fantastic use, yeah, quote that we ever use for anything. And it's true in that a lot of women will fall into this trap, especially when they're with a guy for a long time, of just seeing his deficiencies and that he's, he doesn't notice things the same way I do. He's not as socially adept. He's on his phone too much. He's doing all these other kinds sure, of things. Sure. And men feel like they just don't ever get 
well, yeah, but I chopped a bunch of wood, or I provide for the family in sure. some way, or I do things sure. that aren't necessarily the things you want me to do, but they're still valuable. What was the second part that you said there? Oh, you had one. It was, I thought it was the lack of respect, and it was also the, we have to go back in time to figure it out. <laughs> You were so good. But anyway, men fall, men fall out of love because they don't feel love for who they are. They feel like that, so uh, yeah, they feel like they, they're not love for who they are. And this is actually very important. They feel like the image of what you want as a woman is something they can never attain. Yes. Right? It's like trying to dunk trying to, a basketball. Oh, trying to prove that. Yeah. Con trying trying yeah. to oh, yeah. constantly prove that uh, they love you. Trying to constantly prove they love you and never feeling like the, the message actually gets sunk in. Right. And also feeling like they can never live up to what you want or need them to be. It's like if you're you know, five feet tall and you're like, I can't dunk that basketball. And right. at a certain point, men stop trying. Right. Because why would you keep trying when it's never going to work? Yeah. I, I had an ex-girlfriend who... Um, I was extremely faithful to her our entire time, but she always thought I was cheating. At a certain point, I'm like, I should have just cheated. Right. I was going to get beat up for it anyway. Right. I didn't cheat on her because I don't do that, but either way. So those are kind of the main things, but it's really about um, feeling constantly criticized and treated as inferior for being who he is. It's deep, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot more to talk about in that topic, but Ben said we've already gone too many minutes on this. Go check out Sir Secret Survey, I think. Yeah, Secret and, Survey uh, is a more great... Information I mean, on that. You can find yeah. that on the, our products page at mm -hmm. digitalromanceinc.com. Yeah. And as well as other podcasts and articles and Lots of great all stuff. kinds of other products that we have available. And that program, um, that's the one we get the most life-changing uh, testimonials for. We get women yeah. all the time for Secret Survey that say, I wish I'd gotten this when I was 20, or even women that are saying, I gave this to my 20-year-old daughter. Yep. And I hope it will keep her from making the mistakes that I did with her asshole of a father. Oh, sorry. Not the last part. Bye-bye. If you want to understand men better than they understand themselves, go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special presentation where I explain the weird psychology of men and what men need to truly commit to a woman.